Hello everyone and welcome to Bait.com's uh, first webinar. My name is Saif Haddad and with me today is my colleague uh, Sara Sokal. Hi everyone, thanks for being here. Uh, we look forward to um, showing you some of Bait.com's awesome features today. Um, just if you uh, bear with us one minute till we figure out uh, some of the technicalities uh, of this webinar, we want to share with you uh, our screen and show you how to actually do the top search. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Sarah and I will be explaining how you can utilize Byte.com and its many services to a series of webinars. Uh, but today we'll be uh, focusing on job search and how you can how you can make Byte work for you and find the perfect job. Um, before we actually start, safe, let's just wait a few minutes for everyone else to show up. Um, we have about, we have 211 people watching right now. Thanks guys for showing up. Uh, so happy that you could all make it. Um, let's just give it a couple of more minutes while everyone else uh, joins. Yes, while we wait, uh, let's tell you more about Byte.com. What do you think, Sara? Sure, um, I'll start. So many people think that Byte.com is a recruitment service that finds jobs for you. But that is actually not the case. Byte.com provides you with a platform that easily connects um, job seekers to employers and vice versa. Um, we provide you with the tools and the skills needed uh, to find your dream job um, and to connect with many great professionals and many great companies out there. Uh, we also um, host events, talks, CV clinics, webinars, just like this one, to help you achieve your career goals. Um, yeah. We pro In addition, Bait.com hosts uh, a lot of events. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, Sara, but uh, we now have 259 attendees. But we're facing a very minor technical difficulties. Uh, we're, we want the screen sharing is not working as we speak. Uh, so can you, if you bear with us for a few moments, we're trying to figure it out. Uh, our number now went up to 273 people. Thank you very, very much, guys, for joining us. Um, with, uh, we're expecting more people to come. A lot of people have signed up. So let's just give them a few minutes until they come here. Um, and, um, and then we will begin. Um, while we wait, do you guys have any questions for us or is there anything specific that you would like us to explain? Uh, we're waiting for a question from everyone. Yes, uh, we know there is no video, uh, but we're, we're, we're working on it. We're trying to uh, basically, uh, we're we're trying to uh, show you uh, the video. We're trying to share our screen with you. Um, what? But it's not working. <laughs> Uh, Ahmed Salah, thank you for asking how you can improve your CV. We're going to tell you shortly how you can do this and how can Bait help you improve your CV. It's actually very important. There are a few things that people forget about CVs. Um, uh, and most importantly, it's that you always have to customize your CV. It always needs to be customized to whichever job role you are applying to, especially your keywords and your objectives. Um, so the very first section of your CV will always, always, always be your subject, your objective, and that contains about three lines um, about why you are looking to work for 
in this position or at this specific company. You can't have the same objective for every single role you are sending, um, you are applying to. And uh, screen sharing is finally working. Uh, thank you guys for your patience, uh, and we're about to begin. Uh, Sara, would you like to start? Sure. Um, so I guess everyone is here as well. We have 322 <laughs> people watching right now, which is great. Really, honestly, guys, thank you all for showing up. Um, so let's talk about the job search. Um, the cool thing about Fight is that you can find jobs in so many different ways. You can search jobs um, by location, by sector, by role. Um, you can even find out what the most popular jobs are in a specific country that you're looking for a job in. Um, you can search either by all these categories or by advanced search, which we will get to very shortly. Um, so let's start, for example, if you click on the jobs tab that we are hovering over right now, um, you can find uh, jobs by role, you find the latest jobs, jobs in areas, companies. It, there, it is broken down in so many different ways just for you to be able to find the relevant one to you. Um, so let's start by the easiest one, which is searching by keyword, and which we call the pre-search. So for example, you are looking for a brand manager job. Um, whoops, sorry guys. Brand manager. What did I do? <laughs> Brand. There we go. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> okay. All right, I have a feeling that we have, okay. All right, so let's search by job role. We can come back to the keyword uh, search in a minute. Uh, I think I'm having a problem with my connection a little bit over here. Um, so if you go into jobs by job role, um, you will find all of the different job roles, all of the different sectors, and all of these type are, are job titles that are being advertised are the most popular job titles on Byte.com at the moment. So like we said, let's head down to marketing um, and look at, say, digital manager. Okay, we are having technical difficulties. Oh, I guess we got, I think we forgot to specify the country. So uh, let's try searching in the UAE. All right. Yes, I think there's something, definitely something wrong with our connection. Uh, I don't know what's wrong. Um, while we figure it out, can you, um, do you guys have any other questions for us? Yes, please submit your questions until we figure it out. We are actually um, working with our IT team. Uh, they are here right now. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, they are trying to help us solve the issue. Uh, this technical issue is unforeseen. Uh, let's hope uh, we try and uh, solve it soon. Uh, while we do so, let's explain. Let me explain job role search uh, briefly. So basically, when you under the jobs tab, if you click on job role, you will find all the main roles that uh, you can search for a job. So, so I just checked with. Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I just checked with our IT team, and we are actually doing some enhance enhancements on the website right now. Um, we have excellent timing, clearly. Uh, so the website is going to be a little bit slow and it's really not cooperating with us right now. Um, it's just because we're making some enhancements to the website, uh, you know, make it better. Um, so, um, I guess we can, 
do you guys, what would you guys like us to talk about? We can talk about CV tips, um, interview tips. We can also tell you how it, um, how the best way to set up your bite CV is. Um, yes, I guess since since we since uh, our website is under maintenance at the moment and they're trying to improve it, let's show you what a profile should look like. Um, let's show you how to build a new profile. Sarah, would you like to log out and start yes. a new profile? This is my account, guys. Uh, it's not going to be helpful to uh, see it. So we're going to log out and create a new account. So once you go to www.bait.com. It seems the website is still under maintenance. We, we truly apologize for this, guys. This is completely unforeseen. Um, we just have really good timing. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, so let's let's do a QA. Please answer our questions. Okay, so let's go through the questions and we'll try to answer them all. Yeah, okay. I'm going to try to answer as many questions uh, as possible. Uh, okay, so Muhammad Ali is asking Is there an option on bait side? that when application is rejected to show a reason. Uh, no, Muhammad, there isn't uh, such a feature, but an employer, basically we don't interfere in the hiring process. If you apply for a job um, the, and the employer sees your job application, uh, they, then they will filter down all their application and choose the candidate that is most suitable for their job. If an employer does contact you, we are not involved. And if, if you have been contacted by employer but then did not get that job uh, what you can do is since you now have the employer's contact information you can ask uh, the employer why you didn't get the job um, you can always uh, be very honest and tell them that this is a way that you want to improve uh, your uh, your resume uh, how to increase your resume views uh, your, re your resume is the mo your profile or CV or resume on bike.com is the most important part of your profile. Um, so in order to increase it and to rank higher among other applicants, your, your profile has to be at least at 90%, um, 90% completion. If you go on a profile page, it will show you how much how complete is your profile and it and the website will tell you uh, ways that you can improve your profile so follow the, the steps and build a better profile I don't want to interrupt you safe because it's also it's super important to always 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 fill your profile with keywords um, research the companies that you're looking for jobs in. research the industry that you're looking for jobs in, and find what the most important things and what the most important skills they are looking for are um, and one of uh, the lesser known features on bike.com and one that not a lot of people really understand um, exists is something that is for employers called CV search. So it's very important to always keep your CV full and updated because other than um, you applying to jobs, employers can search through our database for candidates and for job seekers um, and they can always uh, filter by by CV freshness. So if you haven't updated your CV in three in the past three months or the past six months, they could get filtered out. Um, there's also um, you know they search by by skills, uh, by education, by experience. Um, there are so many different ways that they can search for you even when they have an advertised job. So I cannot say how important this is. Uh, Always keep your CV updated, fresh, um, and complete. All right. Um, uh, we have, before we get back to answering your questions, uh, we just got word from IT that the website is back up. So let's try and let's give it one more, one more uh, shot. So, Sara, you were searching for brand manager? Yep. Okay. So, brand manager job. Let's see. And we're back and in we're business. Back on. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. We really truly apologize for that. Thank you for bearing with, with us. And now let's go back to our webinar and talk about the things that we originally wanted to talk to, 
talk to you about. Uh, and again, we will not uh, leave you stranded with your questions. At the end of this webinar, we'll try to address as many questions as possible. Uh, because we are running, because we our time is limited. Uh, if we don't get to answer everyone by the end of the webinar, uh, you can always uh, submit your questions and we will get back to you. Yeah, you can leave your questions in the comments. In the comment section. And we can get back to you as soon as possible. This video will be edited, obviously, for all the technical difficulties and will be <laughs> re-uploaded to YouTube as a reference guide for you from this point uh, onwards. Um, so, as I was saying, the keyword search, was, which I like to call the free search, is really something where so you put in the title or the keywords that you're looking for, and it will show you every single job that either has those words in the title or anywhere within the brand description, in the job description. Now, you can always use the clusters on the left side of the screen, which are sort of my favorite thing, uh, to narrow this down. So say I am looking for a job in the UAE, I am looking in specifically Dubai, um, and I want to work in the retail uh, industry. It will start narrowing down my search to more specific and more relevant uh, jobs for me. The other way you can do this is by going to job role. Um, as I was previously saying, this will show you all of the different sectors and all of the different job titles. Um, and these are the job titles that are most popular um, on Byte.com at the moment. So if we go into marketing and PR, and let's say you are looking for a job as a digital manager, um, this is going to give you more specific, uh, more specific jobs because now it's searching by job title. Uh, again, you can narrow it down by country, by city. Um, say you want to work in the IT um, industry specifically. And then you can go ahead and filter even more. So say you're at a mid-career level, you can specify that in the clusters on the side. Um, my advice to you is to always go one above and one below your actual level because the range is not always specific and it's not constant between different companies. Um, and because, I mean, if you are at a mid-career position right now, you could always move up to management. Um, and what could be an entry-level position at one company could be a mid-career uh, position at another. Um, so um, one other thing that I really like about this is once I've made all of these changes and all of these specifications in my cluster, um, I can go ahead and subscribe to this. Um, I would go ahead and pick that job role again, or that sector, so marketing and PR. Um, I can pick a frequency. Um, so say I want to get weekly alerts about this, and then I would go ahead and subscribe. And Byte.com's algorithm will find exactly all of the new jobs within these specifications for you and send them to you once a week for your um, you know, to make it easier for you. Uh, thank you, Sara, for explaining this. It was, uh, I hope everyone uh, found this helpful. I'm going to show you my favorite feature on Byte.com, uh, which is advanced job search or advanced search. So while we're still under the jobs tab, you can just click on advanced search and it will take you to, um, it will take you to this form that you can fill out. Uh, so, Let's start where you get keywords, job location, job role, job industry. So we're going to start filling out this information. So we, the keywords that we want to search for. So let's say you are a, a civil engineer and you have experience as a project manager or you would like to work as a project manager. So under keywords, you would type project manager. Uh, after that, you move on to location. So with location, um, with location, you can pick your preferences from the beginning. So let's say you want to work in the UAE, but you are not. Uh, you can pick the city if you want to be really specific. But if you're if you're flexible and don't mind commuting or you don't mind traveling or live, or moving somewhere else, you can click on United Arab Emirates, and you can also add another country. So let's say you don't mind working in Bahrain or you want or you would like you're interested in job in the UAE or in Jordan or in Qatar, you just pick the other country. But for now we're gonna stick with the UAE. 
going on to job role under job role so we said you're a civil engineer so you would start by picking civil engineering and again you can add another category another role so civil engineering falls under engineering so there is also engineering let's see if we can add another job role How to get more construction yes construction Sara uh, yes here okay. it is construction and building so this is another another job role let's see if there's a fourth one that we can add you can add many of these so you can be because as we said employer employers can specify can can post a job that is the same under different names or under different industries so you want to keep your options open and you want to know uh, with the all you want to see all the jobs that are currently available on by so we am going to go quickly through to see if there is anything um, that can be related to civil engineering. I think we got it down. Let's go to the company industry. Under company industry, uh, you can, again, let's see, under company industry, if you're a civil engineer, you'd obviously be working in construction. You would want to work in a company that is, uh, works in civil engineering. Or uh, let's see if there's another. Oh, yeah, you can be an architect. Where is architecture? Oh, here it is. You can work at an architecture company. Under company industry, after you've filled out the company industry, you go back to company type. So there are different types of companies. There are non-profit organizations. There are public and private employers. So you can specify what kind of company you would like to work for, the type of company you would like to work for. But for the webinar's sake, we're going to leave that open and not specify. And we're not going to specify the gender. Now, you, you will see minimum monthly salary. Minimum monthly salary uh, is a tool that can help you find a job uh, that, is, that, that meets your expectations. But there is one thing with minimum monthly salary. Not all employers specify the vacancy's salary or the budget they have for a certain vacancy. So our recommendation would be to not specify this because if you specify a certain number in this category, the algorithm will only look for jobs that have that have been posted by employers who specified the salary. So we recommend that you leave it open so you would get more jobs. Yeah, you don't want to limit your options with that one. Exactly. After a uh, monthly salary, you will get to career level. As Sarah said, pick one, one above, one below. Uh, we're going to say mid-career and uh, management for this. Employment status, you can uh, pick full-time or part-time or no preference. Same goes to employment type. Uh, you can be a contractor, a freelancer, or a full-time employee. Let's not specify this because, again, a lot of jobs that are posted do not specify these informations. Most of them do, but some of them don't. So let's not specify one and keep it open. Same applies to job post language. So you click search, and you will get all the jobs for project managers in the UAE. Uh, these are all the jobs that are currently posted on Bay.com. Uh, if you want to even narrow it down even further, you can click by choosing the city, or you can uh, narrow it down by specialty. Specialty is basically some is the, uh, the categories that an employer uh, specifies when they post a job. Not all employers do that, but they, some of them do. So we recommend you leave it open, or if you are very specific with your job search, if you want to work in fit out or planning, you can click on any of these and get the jobs that are in fit out and planning. Uh, same thing, same applies to industry. You can go off, you can narrow it down further to consulting, to engineering, interior design, and you can edit your search. Uh, you can edit these using the clusters to the left of the page at any time during your search. Again, as Sarah said, you can subscribe to this specific job search. Now, let's say you found this job, and this job, the project manager at a, con a confidential company, the employer does not wish to reveal who they are. So, let's say this job, you click on it. And you read the job description, and this job fits you perfectly. This is what you want. This is the job. This is your dream job. This is what you want to apply to, apply for. So you go and you click apply. When you click apply, you will be applying with a CV that is your profile, the profile that you have built on Byte.com, and the CV that has been uploaded onto your profile. And it will ask you to choose a cover letter. Inside, you. Uh, the other thing, safe is. 
if I take a look at this job and I decide that I like a lot of things about it, let's say I don't like the location or um, I don't like a small specific thing about it, I can always do send me similar jobs and it will send me, a, it works sort of like the alerts, It'll it'll the algorithm will look up relevant jobs um, to me and it would it, it would email them to me yeah. and, and all you have to do is click on it it's that quick and you just immediately start receiving these job alerts yeah exactly so uh, now sometimes um, you want to share this job with a friend you can click and email it to a friend uh, if as Sarah said for any reason you're not interested in it or you can just apply and subscribe to more alerts because you never know you want to keep your options open and you always want to be in the loop now when you apply you were talking about the cover letter yeah so. exactly when you apply the website will ask you to include a cover letter now not all employers require a cover letter but we our recommendation oh, no, no. is most of them do most most of them do uh -huh. Our recommendation is no matter what the employer requires, send a cover letter because a cover letter. It's like your CV soulmate. They go hand in hand. Exactly. You, you need to have a cover letter because the CV is listing out your experience and bullet points and, and rigid structure. Your cover letter is going to be sort of that opening. It's like when you're meeting someone, you don't meet someone and just shake their hand and state out quick points of what you do and what you've done. It's, you want to have a conversation with this person and that's where your cover letter is getting you through. It basically gets gives the employer a sneak peek of what kind of person is applying for that job. And it has to be, a cover letter has to be not just a summary of your CV, obviously it has to include your uh, most notable achievements or what you have done in your previous jobs, anything important worth noting or elaborating on needs to be in that cover letter but it's not a summary don't mistake it with a summary that it, with a cv that's broken down into three or four paragraphs it is an extension it's it's a comp it's a it's like the cherry on top of an ice cream it's a complement to your cv now if you guys need any more information about um cover letter writing or even cv writing uh you can always check out our blog uh which you can find right here under the uh, learning tab um and we'll add the we'll add the we'll add this link to the description below the video. Um, and you can search for blogs about finding jobs, career planning, latest news from Bait or Market Insights, and interviews with top employers and market leaders in the region. Uh, the blog has a lot of useful information about uh, career, CV writing, cover letter writing. You can find this all here. There's a lot of useful information about everything, from interview tips to perfecting your CV to um, even how to perfect how to how to. Um, how to set up your bite.com CV and how to perfect that and where to get your keywords from and all of that stuff. Um, and um, if you need if more you need, help, you, know, it's a, you can always, you know, you can, we can always help you write a professional CV or a cover letter. All you need to do is click on um, professional CVs and you can uh, contact us uh, on this email. Career services at, at bait.com. Or you can call us at any time and we will be more than happy to help you uh, write a CV or a cover letter. Uh, now that we've covered the many ways you can find and apply jobs in the blog, we want to we want you guys to ask us questions and uh, we want to try to answer as much as possible. Uh, um, if we do miss any questions because we are constrained on time, we don't want to keep you guys forever. Um, so if, if we do miss any of your questions, um, please, please, please feel free to leave them in the comments below um, and we will get back to you. We'll, we'll keep an eye and we'll get back to you uh, as quickly as possible. Okay, so um, this is our first webinar on Byte. Uh, I'm sorry that you had to witness some technical difficulties yeah. at the beginning, but we will be hosting more of these, and hopefully without any uh, technical issues. Uh, we are we're thinking about showing you how to build the perfect Byte profile mm -hmm. next time. We're going to, to uh, talk you through the steps of building a great profile that will get you uh, your dream job. So if you if you are if you if you have any other topics that you would like us to talk about, you can always write. You can always uh, let us know in the comment section below, and we can address uh, your questions. Uh, let's start with now because uh, we will do not have a lot of time to cover every single question submitted. We're going to start with the latest uh, few questions submitted, and please do keep them coming. Uh, 
Fawad Ali Sayed. I hope I'm pronouncing. I do apologize if I do pronounce any. Um, if I do mispronounce any yeah. names, uh, I'm trying my best over here. Uh, so, Fawad says, I spent four years as a manager as a manager accounts in Dubai, but unfortunately, company financial issues, uh, basically, and he, you've been searching for a job for six months on Bait and you haven't found anything. Well, as, as you just saw, you can, you can basically um, hack the system and try to get more results using bait.com. I hope our tips helped you. Uh, this video, as we said, will be uploaded on you on our YouTube channel again uh, shortly, and uh, you can go over it and see all the tips. It's also very important to remember that whenever you're applying to, to a job, try and find the jobs that are most relevant to you. Um, because when when employers do get these jobs, they do get ranked by relevancy. So if you're applying to a job that has nothing to do with your CV, the employer is not going to look at that. And we have no control over that whatsoever. Um, the hiring decision is always left solely up to the employer. We will just connect um, like I said previously, we will just connect the job seeker with the employers and vice versa. Okay, uh, so one of the questions is um, how long the CV should be. Uh, your The ideal length of the CV is one page. Well, it depends, it depends, it depends on yeah. your career level. So if you are a fresh grad or you have had one or two jobs, you're still at an entry level, um, don't make your CV too long. Um, employers, the average time that employers actually look at your CV is about six seconds. So you need to have all of your information clearly set out on the CV um, and really, you know, eye catching. Um, don't make it too long. No one has the time to go through so many pages of CVs. Now, I understand if you're at a mid level or a senior level, your CV will get longer. Um, but uh, don't, don't go. Um, do, I mean, when you've only had a few jobs, there's really no uh, necessary reason for you to have a six-page long CV. Um, exactly. Yeah. The, it has to be concise and to the point. It has all the necessary information without actually uh, going overboard. Um, Maryam Wersi is asking, will the recording of this webinar be available for later? Yes, it will be later uploaded uh, onto YouTube. Uh, within a couple of days, it will be available on our channel and you can rewatch it again. And we will have a lot more information and these links for you in the description. Um, Khadija is um, asking about completing her application. Um, Khadija, I understand that you um, are facing difficulty with filling out your job pro profile, I believe. Um, we will be coming back with the second webinar um, to give you help on how to, how to complete your profile um, and how to apply to jobs. Um, so please keep an eye out. In the meantime, the blog is a great resource to, give, to answer all of those questions for you. Um, Ranjan is asking if the employers see this see if employers see CVs in order of ranking as filtered by Bait.com. Now Bait's system uh, basically uh, when you apply for a job, it's based on whatever filtration tools and whatever keywords the employer put in. So um, yes, that will be how the employer sees it um, because the employer chose and specified those criteria. Um, so always, like I said. Make sure that you are applying to the jobs that are most relevant to you. Have your skills clearly set out on your CV, the correct C or S uh, keywords all there. Um, and you know, um, Haji Bola, I'm sorry if I am mispronouncing names over here. Um, you are asking, is the CV uh, writing or cover letter a paid service? It is a paid service. Uh, we have experts who um, rewrite your CV and your cover letter for you. Um, the payments uh, are based on uh, your career level. Um, and as we said, feel free to contact us at any time by either calling this number um, or emailing careerservices at bite.com to inquire more about that. Um, We're going through the questions. Show me, sh show, show me. How can I narrow down banking jobs in Dubai? Um, 
you can always do exactly what we did. So you would go by job role, um, head to the banking. So control F, banking, go into banking jobs, and then pick and choose whichever criteria you would like to narrow that down by. Um, Muhammad Shisti, I have been applying to jobs from Indeed, but never get a response. Um, we cannot, uh, we cannot. Uh, we, know, we are not, uh, really, we can only, we're not affiliated with Indeed. We have nothing to do with them. We can only speak for ourselves and for our own website. We also cannot speak for the employer. Um, we do not, sorry, sorry, we do not get involved in the recruitment process and, uh, and the filtration process that the employer goes uh, goes through. So let's say you apply for a job and an employer sees your profile. We, we our, our job ends uh, there. We don't, we're not involved with the employer or with the job seeker. It is, we just provide the connection, the platform to connect you to employers. What are the keywords? Um, Hamad Adam, what are the keywords most employers look for in the CV? That really depends on um, what you, um, what, what industry you're looking for a job in and what job role you're looking for. Um, what I would do is research the company that I'm applying to, um, research the industry, understand more about it, see what employers in that industry would be looking for or in that field. Um, and those are the keywords that I would add. Um, that's those are the keywords that I would add to uh, to uh, to my CV. Um, Khadija, you seem to be having a problem uploading with uploading your CV. Uploading your CV. Um, if you could please email um, feedback at bait .com. Uh, we will help you um, upload your CV to your profile. Yes, with any technical issues, our technical team will be more than happy to help you through them. Um, what is the difference between premium service and the basic version when it comes to the selection, which means... Uh, um, Pedro, there is actually a great resource that tells you all about the premium service on the website. Um, the premium service just has stuff like it highlights your CV, um, could change its ranking and move it to the top, but still, um, it doesn't matter how high you move your your CV. Um, it, it, it basically makes it stand out more to the employer, but it is still so important for your CV to be relevant because no matter how high you get your CV up that list, if you don't have what the employer is looking for, um, there is... Your, your CV is just going to get filtered out. Um, CV, um, Ajibola CV is best viewed in what format, docx or PDF? Um, on byte.com, you can upload your CV in either um, a Word doc or in PDF version. And both of those things will very easily be translated um, into the Byte.com CV. They'll, they'll just transition right into it. Uh, Rajan, uh, again, uh, we are not involved in, with the employers. We're not, we do not interfere with the recruitment process. As, as I said previously, we just provide the platform and the connection between you and the employer. Uh, Lokesh Mishra, is it really true that in Ramadan no recruitment <coughs> happens? Actually, that is not true. Um, we have, we are, we will be releasing an infographic um, and a, and a survey very soon. Um, so keep your eye out for that. Um, you'll be able to see it under the learning tab under research reports. It will be called the Ramadan um, infographic. And there are stats on that infographic that explain, that tell, um, that tell us that um, companies actually do hire in Ramadan and people don't stop searching for jobs in Ramadan. If anything, they actually search for more jobs during that time. Um, let's uh, get one or two Two more questions, and unfortunately, we are we are running out of time. We're running long time, so we'll answer two more questions, and that will be it for us uh, today. Um, uh, Darsana Manilal, 
uh, jobs have comparatively reduced in mm. both this April and May. Actually, Tarsana, um, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry that you feel this way, um, but right now on Bite.com, we pride ourselves on always having the biggest amount of jobs in the region. Um, and on any given day, there are at least 10,000 jobs in the region on Byte.com. Uh, as for entertainment jadda, Byte uh, professional resume service, it is suitable for only GCC or also for US and Europe. Entertainment jadda, um, Byte.com uh, professional services and career services is available to everyone who wishes to use it. So please feel free again to contact us either by visiting the page or by calling or emailing us on uh, these this address or this phone number um and uh khadija you still have <laughs> facing technical difficulties uh, i'm sorry that you're going through this as we said please email us at uh, feedback at bite.com and our technical team will be more than happy to assist you uh with your cv and your uploading process um and i'm sorry guys this is this will be uh, okay one last question because i think it's very important R Rinner, reiner i'm sorry again if i'm butchering the pronunciation of your names guys i uh, is asking topics for next webinars uh this is actually really uh important uh as we said earlier we will be talking about how to build a profile and how to perfect your cd on bite.com and if you have any suggestions and want us to talk about anything specific please, please. Do shoot us a comment or let us know and we would be more than glad to talk about you that. can comment on this video once it's uploaded again onto youtube we will be sending you an email telling you uh that the video is now on youtube so you for you to rewatch, and you can let us know in the comments about any topics you'd like and to address. we of course will send emails and reminders about our next uh our next webinar um that's it for us right now guys it was so nice talking to you we're glad that you could all join us and we really really hope that um our tips and tricks helped you out all right thank you guys very much and uh we'll see you soon bye 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 guys